Well, the misogynist outrage has began. <laughs> Jamel Hill rants about Caitlin Clark's WNBA salary and situa situation and calls it a form of misogyny. Also, Jamel Hill, she's left upset by Caitlin Clark getting her own shoe. Guys, I'm we're about to get into it, but Jamel Hill is on it again. We know a lot of these feminists, um, athletes are just raging inside. They cannot believe that this white Catholic straight girl is getting all this attention and getting all these endorsements. But at the same time, they're upset about the pay gap in the WNBA versus the NBA. I have made several videos about the WNBA. I, as a woman, do not watch the WNBA. I don't know any women who watch the WNBA. I'm interested to see maybe now Caitlin Clark play, maybe a little bit of Angel Reese. Those are the only two names I can think of. Maybe there's some other people maybe, but really the reality is Caitlin Clark is the draw. She is the marketable person. She is the person that people like. She is the player that people wanna see. And for I have said for so long, and, and there have been reports about this, about other players saying this, that there is a lot of pettiness, greed, um, backbiting, and a lot of underhanded things that goes on in the WNBA. I say they have a marketing problem. Most of them are led by big, burly, lumberjack, look, lumberjack looking women. They're, they're not marketable. They don't really appeal to America's families and they don't want to. They want to appeal to who they want to appeal to, which is people like them, which is a very small market. And even that small market doesn't support them. They refuse to listen to anybody. They don't want to change the, the height of the room. They don't want to change the size of the court. They don't want to do anything. They just demand on their welfare. They want welfare from the, w, from the NBA. They want men to pay them money and give them money Okay, just for existing because this is their dream. And you know, you must support a feminist dream and that if men don't, it's misogynistic and they're part of the patriarchy. So they know that they just demand that they make this money regardless if they have a product that people wanna buy. So because they do it, it must be, it must, it must pay. And if anyone doesn't support them, well, it's misogyny. Not that they are bankrupt, not that the league doesn't actually make any money and that they're actually subsidized by welfare from the NBA. And that's an issue with their business practices and that it's a league that nobody really cares about. That it's, it's still men's fault. They don't blame women who do not support it by and large. The majority of people who support the WNBA are actually men. And it's, but even that is not good enough. But let's get into Jamel Hill because we know she's just mm, a chock full of misandrous hate and rants against anybody who does not look like her or does not identify as her gender. So it says Jamel Hill noted woke, <laughs> Jesus, they just went straight to it, noted woke sports journalist has um, was worked up over the WNBA so-called gender pay gap and somehow tied it all to the misogyny, of course. Hill got heated over the online discussion surrounding Caitlin Clark's rookie contract. People were left shocked to learn that Clark, the number one overall draft pick this year, is slated to make 76000 next year as part of her rookie deal. Guys, the WNBA makes no money, okay? But Caitlin Clark has a Nike deal worth millions, and she's also upset with that. Um, Clark fans threw up their hands in disbelief at the upcoming women's basketball star ranking, raking in significantly less money than, than no-name NBA rookies. Like, how hard is this to understand and comprehend? The WNBA doesn't make any money. They're actually in a deficit. They're subsidized by the NBA. How are they going to make as much money? Most of these people complaining don't actually even go to games. They don't have season tickets. They don't buy any jerseys. They don't support the WNBA. But they, if, they, if it's an opportunity to dunk on men and go on a Massandra's rant, well, then they're going to do it. Meanwhile, Jamel Hill is oddly mad about people comparing WNBA pay against the NBA. On her ex account, Jamel Hill ranted about the pay discussion surrounding Clark, the WNBA's popularity compared to the NBA on a timeline. The dangers of letting WNBA players pursue more money overseas, <clears throat> a him, Brittany Griner, and called the discussions of salary differences between the WNBA and NBA a form of misogyny. These are all things we expect to hear from the infamous Jamel Hill. 
I'm already annoyed by this conversation because for years, WNBA players have fought for more money. He'll start it. The perpetually pissed writer, whose platform is far too reliant on identity politics, make questionable declarations in her online rant. Hill seemingly protected Caitlin Clark despite having targeted Clark weeks earlier, demanding that the media spend more time highlighting black athletes instead of the white Iowa player. Um, and so here she is. I'm already annoyed with this conversation because for years, WNBA, WNBA players have fought for more money. And when the, we, and when they were outspoken, so many of y'all told them to shut up or reminded them how they had no value. The NBA has had 50 years of investment, media coverage, blah, blah, blah. After 27 years, oh gosh, do I have to see the rest of this? After 27 years, the WNBA will not be the current NBA, so stop comparing them. For further context, the salary is for four months of basketball, 40 games. Players also receive a free apartment and a car. That doesn't make the salaries acceptable, but now you know why so many women's players play overseas to boost, supplement, to boost and supplement their income. Weaponizing this information against WNBA players is another form of misogyny. These women have been dreaming of playing professionally in front of American audiences their whole lives. There we are with their dreams. Just because it's their dream. I dreamed of being a supermodel, but guess what? It just, I can't do it and it wouldn't pay me. So I have to actually do something else to make a living and feed myself. They seem to think because they've dreamed of this their whole life that we owe them. Us, the average people, we owe them something because they, they had this dream. They don't care about the rest of our dreams. It's a game. We're not talking about brain surgery here. And it says, instead of clowning and reminding them of what they're not, buy the merchandise, go to the games and watch the games on television. Very easy to criticize when most of y'all couldn't get paid to compete at anything. This is what they do. They get nasty, they, it's vitriol, and now it's misogynistic. So, so this is the thing, guys, I want you to understand. To even have the conversation now, to compare the salaries is misogyny. But it's misogyny when people don't complain about it and voice their opinion about it. So you can't win. You are a misogynist and I have internalized misogyny if we even discuss this in any level. But if we don't discuss it, it's also misogyny and that we can't even compete at anything in our lives. So how are we to say anything? These are the same people that want to sell, to say buy our merchandise, come to our games, and then look how nasty they are. Look at the vitriol that they push towards people. And this isn't just Jamel Hill, the reporter. The WNBA players have been nasty like this to people. Any type of criticism, any type of feedback, anything, they want to blame others other than themselves. Nobody told you to play basketball nobody made you play basketball that was your choice I don't hear Caitlin Clark complaining I don't hear her complaining at all but let's get to the next part where Jamel Hill could not help herself and complaining even now when a woman is getting paid but of course because she's not a black woman it doesn't matter because she's not the right color now that also is an issue you cannot win with these people oh wait there's more I can't even get to the the Nike deal yet and it says ridiculous rants on the WNBA salaries are everywhere and in case you're wondering where the right side of the WNBA salary conversation lands President Biden's ex account put out an inane post propping up Caitlin Clark as a kind of martyr for the gender pay gap movement what as people discuss her pockets, including the millions made from NIL, Clark is solely focused on the game. So how we got from there to misogyny can only be made possible through a signature Jamel Hill stretch of logic. They are dunking on her. People cried for the end of the pay disparity between leagues and an idea that continually falls flat when comparing the WNBA and the NBA respective revenues. According to Statista, the NBA generated $10.58 billion in revenue in 2023. By comparison, the WNBA drew $200 million in revenue. The figure is passable until you compare it to 2022. That year, the WNBA generated $60 million in revenue, presenting a massive uptick in audiences that may quell or Clark can keep the momentum going as the new face of women's basketball. Caitlin Clark will inevitably draw more eyes to the WNBA with her generational talent. But for sports writers like Jamel Hill, 
Clark's impact on the game isn't enough. Cece has to, has to be the face of some cause. Clark just wants to win. No off the court absurdity required. So again, Jamel Hill is, is, is she is one of these very woke activists and I mean, Jesus, and, and she complains about everything. Everything is racist. Everything is misogynistic. Everything is against the patriarchy. And she's one of these feminist voices that is not satisfied. She doesn't use logic. Everything is feelings based, but we know that's who, what they want. So I'm going to put in a separate video, her rant, because this was long enough, her entire rant about the, the whole Caitlin Clark getting her contract and how ridiculous it is. Um, her Nike contract guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this and I will see you on the next one. Bye.